I think most people in Britain felt this absolute gut revulsion, this fury at children being killed yet again. It's like how many mass killings of children are we supposed to put up with? Like you mentioned the Manchester Arena bomber a moment ago. Oh, yes, and remember, don't look back in anger. Yeah. That person who started singing that song, no, we're angry. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to not look back in anger. I am angry about what's happening, and a lot of people are really angry about what's happening. Hey, everyone, and welcome. Pretty hard hitting one. That wasn't it. No, that was Kezia Noble on GB News with Leo Curse. And I do believe that we have rotten, rotten politics. And I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration. Now, if you didn't know, Leo Curse is a comedian, ex comedian, sort of comedian, who they've been trying to clo- close and cancel for a long, long time. <laughs> and Kezia Noble is actually a dating coach. Now, why anyone would need a dating coach, I will never know. It's just talking to women, lads. Not that difficult. They're not Medusa. Well, most of them aren't. (laughs) Now, she went on to say some quite stark facts that I'm sure the establishment will want to hear. And I'm sure you wouldn't hear people like her saying it on the BBC or ITV or any of those. So let's have a listen to what she actually says, shall we? In full commit crime, sexually exploit children, form parallel societies. Britain isn't a country anymore. It's a borderless economic zone where anyone is free to come and go as they please. And not everyone loves that. Now, I mean, I'm astounded that people on the left, they keep trying to find something to blame for the riots. They say it's misinformation on social media, it's racism, it's booze, it's, you know, whatever it is. When the reality of the matter was, I think most people in Britain felt this absolute gut revulsion, this fury at children being killed yet again. It's like how many mass killings of children are we supposed to put up with? Like you mentioned the Manchester Arena bomber a moment ago. Oh yes, and remember, don't look back in anger. Yeah. That person who started singing that song, no, we're angry. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to not look back in anger. I am... I looked back. I'm from Manchester. I looked back in rage, and I still do what's happening and a lot of people are really angry about what's happening Europe is starting to get angry yeah and nothing's getting done about it yeah. well, yeah, nothing. What's... look at Italy they've just they apparently no, but they, got but they are... right wing government she's done nothing she's no she's done she's done she's some stuff said she's made the right noises there are still thousands and thousands of migrants coming in every single day I have friends fact that's a fact by the thousand in Cyprus, they said it's just full of Syrians. But it's, I mean, it's a difficult, it's a complex, it's, ha- it, it, it's no, a it's complex, not complex. No, it's not happening in Greece so much anymore. You know, I know why? They turn the boats back, they force them back the way they came. I know, shocking, isn't it? They're in the ECHR as well. Just saying. Odds there on your borders, and you're just, you just say no, you're not coming in. Um, just like they did in COVID, the, when the healthy problem... people weren't allowed to travel, they did it. Then they can do yeah, it. Yeah, that's now. a fair point, actually. No, but they, they've got, no, it's not They've got charities and NGOs that are funded from some some dodgy, you know, far left sources uh, that that bring people from Libya Override to, to Italy. But, but Maloney has started turning turning them back, and we're seeing it across yes. Europe. We're seeing, uh, you know. People are getting electing more right wing parties oh, they, they, because they, they see they the mainstream it's parties aren't doing what they want. Just like it's, in France with Le Pen, exactly. it's getting thwarted all the time. It's a massive they want, issue they around want the world. This it's to get continue. Bigger. They want mass immigration because they they want to change our expectations. They know that they cannot carry on providing what the boomers had. Okay, so they want to change our expectations. If you think about it, yeah. in the 1980s and even 1990s, somebody would just think, if I work hard, I'll have a house Mm. and I'll have a car and a dog and and children. Now it's like, if I work hard, I'll have a shoebox that I rent (laughs) in the the middle of nowhere. Because the expectations have been low. See, I have a slight problem with that. See how she blamed the boomers because they had everything. No, the boomers didn't have everything. They just, like she said later in that comment, had a different mentality, i.e. they wanted the house, the wife, the children, the family. So they worked hard to gain that goal. Now, they don't want any of that, so there's less hard work being done. Let's continue, though. This is not even a cultural yeah. issue. This is just the numbers. Yeah. And, and don't ignore legal right. immigration. And I think we'll skip the apologist, the one that makes up 
excuses, you know, balance. I don't need balance. So I'm going to skip him. <laughs> and I cannot believe mm. The Guardian and other people on the left are willfully ignoring They are trolling it. us. They are trolling us, The Guardian, yeah. saying, oh, what was this? It must have been booze. You know, no, this is something that's so much deeper. We're watching our country being ruined. And this is an awful thing that happened. The riots went way too far. We all know that. Yeah. But just listen to the root cause of where it's coming from. And this is the problem, though, isn't it? She was bang on the money. Expectations have changed, and they want expectations to even be even lower because then they cannot provide the things that we actually pay for in our taxes, etc. More money for the kitty, more money for their virtue signalling with their cabal of scumbags from around the world. <laughs> now, play fair play to her. I think she should give up a day job. She's obviously better at talking about politics than she is at dating advice. Here's some advice for you, fellas. Just go and speak to women and go, go to bars. There's still women in bars, you know. <laughs> you might want to avoid the middle class swanky bars though, hey. <laughs> Let me know what you think. I'd like to know your opinion on this one. I thought I'd bring it to you because people are speaking out and they are realising across the board that there's a problem. This is where everything starts to change, everyone, I think. Let me know what you think, though. Stay sane. I'll see you on the next one.